Hi, my name is Mark Suiso. I'm with Makaha Mangoes, and as the name implies, we grow mangoes in Makaha. I grew up here as a kid, and both my parents were school teachers. And the first thing my dad did was planted some mango trees. There were four of us in the family, so we grew up with a garden and living on the food that came from the garden. And I grew up around all of these mango trees, and that's what we did. Is during the summer, we just stayed in the mango trees and ate mangoes all day long. And this is an area that has been famous for mangoes from the time I was a kid. It's a dry, sunny area. And most of the people that initially settled here back in the early 50s when the plantation shut down um, acquired a little piece of land, an acre or so. And one of the first things most of the people did back in the late 50s was plant a mango tree. Mangoes do really well where it's hot and sunny. That's our, that's our strength and um, we like to celebrate that. It's, it's a lifestyle. Uh, we grew up eating mangoes all the time and um, that's why I stay here. A big part of our mission with, within Macaw Mangoes is threefold. Number one is to, to showcase um, the value of tree ripened fruit. Number two is to encourage other people to start growing fruit of their own in their own properties. The challenge is finding the right fruit tree for the right location. Third part of our mission is to bring back the productivity of these large trees that have been neglected for so long. Several generations ago, a lot of mango trees were planted. Those individuals that planted those mango trees are no longer here. It's a legacy to those individuals that planted those trees. It would do them honor to, to make those mango trees more productive. Here on the west side, there's not a lot of, of employment. There's a number of individuals that have to commute to find their income in Honolulu and they spend much of their life, several hours a day, in traffic driving back and forth. To come home and to sit down and look at your mango tree and, and when you get home, or for me to get up in the morning and see the mango trees is very rejuvenating. I think you need that if you're dealing with this kind of lifestyle where you're stuck in the traffic so long. There's nothing better than an ice cold mango after you've been in the beach. So you would jump in the salt water, in the sun, come out of the water, go into your ice chest and get a nice cold mango. There's nothing better than that.